we don't take these things lightly, but we are notified by statute. We, we look into them. Uh, we make the recommendation if they're found to be a candidate, so to speak. Um, I would think it'd be unconscionable not to proceed with the way the media has been and very critical of these issues. And we don't want these people on the street. Yes, sir. So we have currently one ongoing case. Yes. Okay. And we're anticipating that the ongoing case will cost the forty-five thousand. It's entirely possible. There's been there's been uh, one hearing already. There's uh, uh, there was a second, I think, hearing, and as well as there's several motions that are now being and now the expert testimony is where the actual big expenses will cost. Each side will have their experts, and we'll, that's where the litigation costs will go up. We don't pay for both sides. No, but we have to pay to go <laughs> if we want copies of the transcript and things. There are there are fees and expenses. Is there any uh, reduction that might seem reasonably plausible? Uh, that would still give you enough to operate uh, on that particular case. I know we're not talking about a great amount, but well, I'm I'm reasonably assured we're trying to meet the standards of the minimum, and so I just would hate to misspeak and then find out it cranks up in a month or so and we're on the end of the diving board. So I can say that we're trying to do it as economically as we can. I did speak with the attorney two days ago and trying to keep the number of experts down if we can. Anybody have any other questions or comments on this? I don't know that we can do much else. Uh, Representative Babson's comment about a capital reserve fund of some type might be a, one approach that we might like to take in the future. I don't know if we're ready to do that now. And we'd still have to fund adequately to cover the immediate the needs. So, uh, any, any, as I said, <coughs> you don't know where the questions would be. All right, everybody has the corrected bottom line figure with the changes that we made, and we can go into the, the victim witness assistance uh, grant. There were changes made uh, on line 009 that was changed to uh, $43,000, I think. Uh, I'm not sure that was a definite change. It wasn't changed. It was a recommendation request. There was a request. That would have been a 2% increase, but we did not change it. The, the requested amount was $43,000. I have a question mark by that whether or not we did an increase it. So the original was 39,188 on the uh, on that particular line, zero, zero, nine. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Yeah. Um, so the 39 uh, uh, does incorporate the 2% increase, is that correct? Yes. And the 43 was the additional increase that we had discussed before. That, that's right. Yes. Yes. Um, in, in all deference to my friend and colleague to my right, I am going to make a motion to increase this line, if I could. And not going to go for the for the full amount because I do understand the times. I think the full amount would have been thirty-eight twelve. I've cut that in half. My motion is to increase that line by nineteen hundred and six dollars, bringing that line to a total of forty-one zero nine four. Okay, so uh, Representative Scala has made a motion to increase the line to 41094. Uh, is there a second to that? Not even getting off the ground here. 
<laughs> if we wait, will we get a second? <laughs> I'll take it just for discussion. Curious as to where the money, what that's for. If I may, why did you make that increase revenue? Then the full, then the full amount. Um, again, I'm I'm not uh, one for for large increases in spending, but I, um, again, I've I've seen this 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 woman perform in court. I know that these these salaries are not truly comparable to what uh, other counties are paying, um, and I've seen what she's she's done. I think she's worth keeping around, just like the the attorney that Dr. Babs. I mean, uh, Dr. Uh, Representative Patchett <laughs> referred to. Look at that, I'm just going to give a promotion to um, Is there a raise with that? <laughs> no, no. You've got to go through your probation period. Um, but I, I, I do believe in what she does, and I know that she does get out there in the community. So uh, rather than go for the whole apple, I'm just trying to get half here. Okay. Okay, yeah. Representative Chin. And while I. I fully expect, and I don't know, but that the third person in the attorney's office, I would assume, is going to be eligible for that 2% increase. There's some discussion on that. I would hope that they do that. But I don't, that should, we should certainly make sure that happens, isn't it, I might think, at some point. But nonetheless, if that isn't included, in my opinion, that should be included. I but that's, we'll go back to that some other time. But I, I would just speak against this motion. Um, because once again, I, I don't. We're going to go through and pick and choose. If we've got a standard that everyone's gotten here, and now we're going to try to deviate from that when we already just didn't on the previous motion. But since I will just put in a plug to say, since I did have my fellow uh, person to the left vote on that other one, I need one more person to vote the other way this time. We have well, it wouldn't pass, so that's okay. I just, I just think that fairness, fairness in trying to keep everyone going. You know, well, we do have a motion on the floor. We're still in discussion. No second. There has not been, yes, there has been a second. Yes, second. Yes, second. Yes, second. Yes, have any other discussion on this? If not, I'll call the question and, and uh, all in favor of supporting Representative Scala's motion to increase line 009 to $41,000. $94. Please raise your hand. Are there any, are, are there any opposed? Okay, the motion fails. So the final figure then is thirty nine one eighty eight. That uh, thirty nine one eighty eight. Uh, yes, it would remain that way. And there was no change in the bottom line. Okay, so then, on registry of deeds. Oh, I apologize. Yes. New equipment in the attorney's office. Okay, we bring up that at some point in discussion of getting that list. Yes. Uh, but the list doesn't include any computer. No, this is the this is the last list. The list that we just got. That's the list that we just received does not include all departments. That's all I'm saying. Right. Yeah, some point I'd like to get we'll that. We'll get that next time. But if at least the attorney could just quickly mention what the twenty-four two thousand dollars is for. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Uh, twenty-four hundred. Seems so there should be something fairly close if we're buying a computer for the office should be the same as a computer for his office, I would think. That's all I'm saying. 
Uh, they need other parts to go with it. Like I know one person said they didn't need a printer, and right. we just kind of look overall the whole complex and see what we're doing. Um, Robin, you want to speak to that? We had Cybertron did an inventory of all our computers. They did. And recommended certain ones to be replaced and other ones that we can get along with for a while. Correct? Correct. They did do that. I understand what Representative Chandler was saying about trying to get a uniformity as far as what we need. It, it could depend on the department. We might have to replace a monitor and the CPU. We might, in another department, we might not have to. The, the additional cost is there's an additional um, installation charge as well when they reinstall a new computer. But I, I think the question is, can we get uniformity? Yes, we can get we can get some pricing. I can get some pricing for you. From uh, really, it, it, yeah. it would seem to me that we could use the same type of machine Absolutely. in in any area. <coughs> there may be an exception, but that would be hard for me to. If we're buying good, up to date, high powered equipment, uh, we should have some consistency in the standard here. Yeah, I can get that pricing for you for next time. Okay, are we ready to uh, attend the channel? Did that, did that answer your question? So service could change, but the, the basic uh, right. the quick, uh, computer is going to be basically the same throughout the complex, I think. Right, but we, we have to we have to review different types of material. Like, uh, for example, my computer. I, I can't review certain videos and things on my computer for whatever reason. It's an older computer. Um, so I use my laptop to do it. It's my own personal laptop. But then we also have sensitive cases where we can't page uh, 11, uh, medical referee, and uh, 4150, and on, yeah, okay, physician services and so forth. 